already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match. Introducing first from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? Showstopping Jade Cargill is the real deal. A physical specimen you just can't help but pay attention to. Every appearance she has goes viral, and every match she has becomes must watch. The epitome of destruction. A wrecking ball in the women's division. And from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. Jax has ruled the women's division since day one. She's held singles and tag team titles here in WWE and still wants more. Nia Jax straight up runs things in the women's division. Going to impose her will on anyone in that ring tonight. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. And from Pryor Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany Stratton. Stratton has an amazing gymnastics background. She even competed on the U.S. national team. She sprang her way into WWE after that and has never looked back. We've learned very quickly that it's always Tiffy time in WWE. This is extreme rules where there's only one rule. There are no rules. For this one, we have Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill. And standing across from them, it's a very tough test with Nia Jax and Tiffany Stratton. I know we always say anything can happen in WWE, but that really is the case for extreme rules matches, guys. Who knows what foreign objects will enter this match? Because they're all legal. I wonder if they can toss me over some duct tape, Saxton. We'd love to use extreme rules to shut you up for once. She scored. Here's the cover. Whoa. Getting the shoulder up before two. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Dominating shoulder tackle. <laughs> what a shot! Elbow drop. Bianca gets rescinded right back. 
This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, I had that well scouted. Powerbomb position. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh, watch this, fellas. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. Now, I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. What's she looking for under the ring? She grabbed a sledgehammer and she's looking to do some permanent damage now. We've seen the lengths superstars are willing to go to in an extreme rules match to earn the victory. What do you have to do to get yourself in that mindset? It's all about adapting in extreme rules. You really have to be creative and maybe even a little crazy if you want to succeed. And that definitely made solid impact. Nia Jax brushes that one off. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. She heads into the ring. Oh. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. This is the only time anyone gets excited about garbage when a steel trash can gets involved with a fight. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. There's a special word that I can't say on air for that type of slap. Hey, keep things T for team, Corey. Put it in the corner now. Oh, real European uppercut. It looks like Stratton didn't quite expect that. I think we're about to see it. Muscles him all the way up. Powerball. Jack's on the verge here. Two. She gets the shoulder up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Seated bionic elbow. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. And did you hear the impact of that? <laughs> Tiffany out of harm's way. <laughs> Fell off with the elbow. Lands face first. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. And now thrown back into the ring. She has her opponent lined up and just taunting her with that chair. Weapon in hand, just toying with her now. These will keep you down. She's in the ring now. Made her pay for her mistake. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Ooh, sharp kick. Face first into the turnbuckle. And a vicious kick to the arm. Turn Nia Jax around. Oh, with authority! This match is wearing her down. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure. But not sure how much more tenable it could be. A second time. And this is going to be it! And that's the save. Let's keep fighting. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. She kicks out with force. Late in the match, but... Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara. <laughs> Rolls through a clever escape in her knee. And that was an effective attack, guys. Incapacitating the shoulder. Gets the knees up. Incredible wherewithal. Dropkick hits the mark. She's going up. Top up here. Power with it. We're going to finish it off. Swan Tom Bomb. Looking for the victory. There's two. Got it. No, just a two. She just will not go away. She's taking things to ringside. Have you ever seen such disdain from this superstar for the other? This is so chaotic. They're taking so it. Dangerous. A new 
shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for him. Save! Oh, still got a little fight here. She steers clear of that one. Slips out of the way. Reversal count. The EST looking to secure the win. K.O.D. That finish threatened for good. That's gonna be it. Two. Wow, just barely making it out. Somehow, someway, escapes the feet. Cargill, the other opponent to get up. Not wanting to waste any more time, making it look easy with Jaden. Will Jade end this? You can feel the powerhouse Cargill standing over a fallen opponent. Applies the double chicken wing. This is the beginning of the end. Jaden, and that took Nia down. Oh, that hurt to the spot. Picking the spot. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Ooh! Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. A uh, Bianca Belair pulling one out of Beth Phoenix's playbook with a planned slam. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Uh-oh. Yes. This could be it. Cover for the win. Oh, that was close. This match continues. Look at this. Snap suplex. Shouldn't have to endure a smash like that. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Scoop slam. And targeting the leg there. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Unescapable spot for uh oh. Jade Cargill lifts her opponent up. Look at the power to Jaden. Cargill stamping an end to this. Will Belair close this out? And she fights it off. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count to three? What a match. What a match. Let me see your career. Close on. Extending their opponent's arm in a big leg drop. Bianca's looking weak in the knees. Could spell trouble. Set up for a second time. Oh, God. Skull, and Bianca felt the full force of that. And returning to the ring. Textbook scoop slam. Nicely done. And there's that devastating offense from Nia. The last thing you want at this juncture is to be demolished by the wrecking ball that is Nia Jax. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Tiffany Stratton showing the WWE Universe more love than they deserve. Impressive reversal there. Oh, nail digging right into the skin. Wait for it. Alabama slam. Placing them into the corner. She saw that coming from Tiffany. Getting back into the ring. She's gone after her opponent's core a few times. Say goodnight. K.O.D. Belair displaying power. Good touch. She's going for it. And a victory. What a win she picks up here tonight. for one of the best teams around with that win.